Hey guys, just back again. This time I want to just talk. I'll switch over to this chair. So, yesterday for one of my healing processes on healing um, myself, um, I thought I'd do... Uh, mantras to listen to as I work. Um, I work in a school cleaning and stuff, right? So during the cleaning process, I have these little earbuds I listen to when I want to listen to mantras so no one else has to listen to it. Um, and it works perfect. So anyway, I was doing one for self-love, like loving your body, loving yourself. I mean, I love myself. I know I'm empowering. I know I'm loving I'm a strong woman, I'm kind, I'm love, all that. I know that, yeah. But it's myself, loving myself and my body, right? So I thought, okay, well, it'll be no big deal. I'll go on there and I'll do it. So I was saying this stuff to myself, like it'll say, you're beautiful, um, your body's beautiful, your face is beautiful, you have nice hair, um, beautiful eyelashes, right? And this whole time I'm saying this to myself. I'm really trying to believe it, right? But the piece, little piece of my mind that I am trying to turn around, obviously that's why you're doing it, um, it's saying, no, no you're not. You're not beautiful. You're, um, you're not the weight you want to be at. You're not this, you're not that. But I'm still fighting it to say I'm this and I'm that and I never really realized what how deep-seated that is um, growing up you know you were shown well if you if you love yourself and think you're beautiful you're conceited right and full of yourself and so that was half the problem that's how I grew up right so I grew up thinking, oh, no, don't think that way because you're conceited. You're just being conceited you know, in, in that too, right? You know, it's another thing's coming up, right? And this is probably going to be, out of everything that I've done so far in my spiritual awakening, this is probably the biggest hurdle I'll have to get over. Um, it's going to be, like, it's so deep-seated, I think, you know. And I know I can do it, and I'm going to. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to, but it's just going to be very difficult. But I'm still going to do it because that's what you you need to do to improve yourself. So even though things may be scary and you don't think you can do it, and even though it scares you at the time that you're doing it, just keep doing it. And it, it is exhausting. Like I came home last night and I slept hard. I slept and I dreamt vividly ever since I've been having the spiritual awakening, my Dreams are so vivid, so vivid. And I wake up and I'm like, okay, what does this mean? Okay, what does this mean? You know what I mean? Um, but you just, don't, you just don't realize that. And I think a lot of my deep-seatedness too is from uh, growing up, like I have a learning disability. So growing up as a kid, um, there was a lot of negativity thrown at you, right? It's, it's a little bit more understood now, but there's still a lot of that going on in schools, I can see. I work in a school. But um, you just don't realize what sticks with you, right? And, of course, from past bullies. But, you know, bullies, bullies are just bullies. They're hurt themselves. They're trying to figure out life just as much as you are. I think that's another part of my enlightenment, my, my uh, spiritual journey has been is understanding that people may hurt you or say things to you, but it's just because they're hurt themselves and they got their only things they got to get rid of too, but a lot of them don't bother doing it, right? Um, that's their journey. This is my journey, right? So let me know what your journey is. You know, like it's, it, it this is going to be really challenging for me. There's times I'm probably just going to be so emotionally drained. Um, but I just make sure I have my crystals and I smudge and I smudge and I just think positive, you know. When I start to think negative, I think of it like a cloud. You know, it just kind of goes by. I acknowledge it. Okay, it's gone. You know, and, and that does help. Um, 
but anyway, I just wanted to say that, that just keep, just keep going at it, you know, because there's so many things that in your past you don't realize that you got hanging on in there that um, you're trying to recover from that. Even past relationships, people telling you, you know, maybe someone in your past that have told you that you're not pretty, you're not beautiful, you're not who you are, you're ugly, you're this, that. Right, I've had relationships like that too, um, which obviously just stuck with me, right? But I'll get over that. You know, they had their thing. This is my thing. I got to get over. So keep fighting and keep doing it. Um, don't give up. You're beautiful and you're strong and amazing. And I believe in you. Hey, right on.